Guys, come on, it's just a little further. You realize you have us in the middle of nowhere, right? I'm pretty sure at the beginning of the year, Miss Porter told us not to come here. Do you want to help Alita or not? Now, come on. I am never wearing the right clothes for these things. Uh, I kind of left my glasses in my dorm room, so I can't really see anything. <sighs> this was seriously such a bad wardrobe choice. Yeah, I know. We're trying to blend in, and you're wearing florals. <gasps> whoa, whoa! I told you guys I don't have my glasses. <laughs> if you walk out the door without your glasses, wouldn't you notice because, you know, you can't see? I'm not blind, Cassie. Guys, look. My mom said she put out this red string so that we would find her. Come on, let's follow it. Yeah, that looks promising. This is it. This is it. It's all that's here. You know, when we do come upon your mother, she better help us. Because as it seems, it's very difficult to find her. I don't know what to do now. Stand back, Sophia. Huh? I've got this. Ow. Anyone else have any ideas? Let's just go back. Oh my god. Well, let's go inside. Um, Mom? Uh, hello? Mom, is there anyone here? Maybe we should just go back. It'll be fine, Cassie. Just keep going. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, I, I'm just gonna keep going. I, I didn't even mean to do that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um. Whoa. What is this place? I guess this is where my mom wanted to meet. Where is she? Sophia, there you are. I was so worried that you weren't going to be able to find this place or open it and get in, but... But you did. Here you are. Mom, what is this place? It's somewhere safe, somewhere they won't be able to find us. Now introduce me to your friends. Oh, right. Mom, this is Ben, and this is Cassie. She's my roommate. Mom, we need to talk about Alita. You mean the Chosen One, the Alita? I've already told you it's dangerous for me to talk about that person. No, Mom, we're talking about Alita. She is the Alita too, though. The Chosen One's name is Alita. Sophia, why did you tell me this? Because they already know. You know what can happen though, right? If they know her name. Yes, because it already happened. She doesn't have control anymore. I guess I know why you needed my help now. Is there any way that we could, you know, get her back? That's something that she needs to do on her own. However, there might be something that we could do to help push her in the right direction. Then we have to do it. Before we can do anything, you need to fully understand the Aspen and the Hyatts and where they come from. Centuries ago, there were twin daughters. One named Aspen, the other Hyatt. They were very similar, but very unalike. Aspen was born with something Hyatt wasn't. What? I'll tell you. But first, you see, like the Chosen One, Alita. Like Alita has a scar, so did Aspen. In fact, every Aspen ever born was born with a scar, a birthmark. Each scar and birthmark different, meaning something different predicting your fate and your destiny. Aspen's birthmark meant the beginning. Aspen, mom says, Aspen? Hi, Aspen, how are you doing that with your locket? I, I don't really know. This has been happening for the last couple of weeks. It's like I'm just doing it with my mind. You're a witch, Aspen. No. I'm not. Please, you can't tell Mom and Dad, though. They won't send you away. They love you. Not when they see what I can do. You've seen what they do to witches. 
what our own father has done to witches. He would never do that to you. Now come on, it's supper. I'm not going back there until you tell me that you're not going to tell them. If that's really what you want, I won't tell them, Aspen. Now come on. Hyatt never had to tell her parents. They found out all on their own. And when they did, they kicked Aspen and Hyatt out immediately. Their idea was if one twin was a witch, the other must be too. I'm not a witch like you. I shouldn't have to leave. I'm sorry, Hyatt. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I don't feel like a witch. Well, you are. Come on. Where are you going? We can't stay here. We have to find somewhere we can settle. Once we find somewhere, don't you think it's best to stay hidden? Sure. It didn't take long for the girls to find somewhere that they felt safe. What are you doing? You made me lose my concentration. I'm sorry. Wait, is that Mom's necklace? I mean, technically it's mine. I made it for her birthday just last year. That doesn't make it yours. She loved that necklace. I just wanted a little piece of her. They kicked you out because of who you are. Why would you want a piece of that? What are you even doing with it? I'm trying to enchant it. Ugh, more witchcraft? Well, since I'm here, I might as well. I'm not hiding from anyone anymore. Really, is that why we live in a tree trunk? I mean, we still wear the same clothes we did when we were back there. Just leave me be. God, you know, I am so sick of being in this place. Then leave, Hyatt. Fine, maybe I will. And she did. Hyatt left her sister to go explore the world and see what was really out there, away from the tree trunk. Aspen, Aspen! Hyatt, you're back! Of course I'm back, and I'm back with amazing news. You have to come with me. Beyond the trunk of this tree. It's an amazing world out there. So much has changed while we were away. I'm glad you like it, but really I shouldn't go. If you just don't use your powers, it shouldn't be a problem. Come on, you need new clothes anyways. And I met a boy. A boy. Yes, we're getting married. You've been gone for a week and a half. You can't just marry this person. How long have you known him? A week, but it doesn't matter. We're in love. People do this all the time now. Hyatt, you're being ridiculous. I'm not, and you're coming with me. No, Hyatt, I'm not interested. Now please leave me alone. Don't be such a downer. Come on. I'm happy here. Fine. I'll see you later on. But it wasn't later on. It took almost two years for Hyatt to return. Aspen, I'm home. Hyatt? Is that you? It's, it's been almost two years. I said I'd be back, didn't I? Yeah, but I assumed you'd be back within the week. Well, I got married and it turns out I'm not quite the marrying type. You went through with that? Yes, and it didn't exactly work out, but it doesn't matter, I'm back now, and I have the best idea. And a slight favor to ask. Anything. Great. So here's my vision. Me and you, well, mostly you, create an entire kingdom. A metropolis of some sort. People are tired of the ways of the world right now. They need a new place, a new country to live in. And we're on acres of land. It might be small, but we'll have complete control over it. You want to make a kingdom? Who will rule it? I will. We will. Together. With your powers, I'm sure you can build it within a week, right? I've never done anything like that, Hyatt. It'll be fine. I believe in you. And plus, you don't have to live in this tree trunk anymore. You can live in a kingdom, a castle with me. You can get married, have the kids you always wanted, and I'll rule over the country. You just have to sit back and relax. And there's one other thing. If I'm to be queen, I don't want to be this sweet, little, innocent girl. When people see me, all they see is my blonde hair, blue eyes. I must be so fragile. But I'm not. I don't want to be. Well, who do you want to be? I want you to make me strong, courageous, and powerful. The only hard part will be the beginning. You making the place, making me powerful. But after that, everything will go so smoothly and perfectly. So, you in? Uh, it'll be fine. You're powerful. Sure, Hyatt. I'm in. Awesome. Well, you better get started. And she did. I mean, what other choice did she have? She wasn't going to go and disappoint her sister. So she began working. 
working with elements she had never worked with before, and she exhausted herself. There you are. People have been looking for you everywhere. They want to thank you. You did it. You made the entire kingdom. You like it? I love it. Everyone does. Now come on to the castle. You don't want to sleep in here anymore. I'll sleep in the castle tomorrow night. I'm just exhausted right now. And that's fine. So, I was thinking for tomorrow we could start getting me my new skills, if you know what I mean. People are still thinking of me as some innocent little girl, and I'm so tired of that. Isn't these people's respect something you should earn? I've tried that, Aspen. You're my last hope. So, tomorrow then. If that's what you want. Of course it is. I love you, sis. However, as the days and weeks and months went by, Aspen was still not able to give her sister the one thing that she ever wanted. Aspen, where are you? I'm, I'm right here. Oh my gosh, when was the last time you changed your outfit or even brushed your hair? I don't know, Hyatt. I've been working on this for you for months and nothing's working. I haven't had time for anything else. Well, I came here to tell you that your last spell didn't work either. Oh crud, what did I do wrong? Okay, let me go over this. And I'm also here to tell you that you're no longer allowed to work down here. It's dirty and gross and cluttered and I'm not coming down here to visit you anymore. I've created an entire wing for you in the castle and that's where you can do your work. I'm so tired, Hyatt. I don't have any time to move. Everything is here and I know where it is and I'd like to stay here. Too bad. Now try another spell on me. I don't have anything else prepared right now. God, you're frustrating. I'm trying, Hyatt. I've been trying. Not hard enough. I'll be in the castle. I'll see you there tomorrow. <sighs> God. Seven sticks, thirteen stones. What are you doing? I'm making a potion. I mean, I'm... I'm just collecting sticks. I'm not a witch or anything. Yes, you are, and that's okay. You're the one who created this whole place, huh? Uh, yeah. Who, who are you? I'm Anderson like you. If you don't believe me, look. You have a birthmark on your neck, too. Why? What do they mean? Well, yours means the beginning. Mine means helper. I don't get it. It's a mark. It symbolizes who you are. And who am I? A witch. Yours is more of a birthmark, while mine's a scar. How did you get yours? It was in a dream. It said I needed to help you, and then I woke up with this scar. And I found you, finally. I don't need your help. Really? Because a potion won't work, by the way. You need something much stronger. Especially since you've never done this before. Okay, since you know everything, how am I supposed to help my sister? I don't even know why you'd want to help her. Because I love her. You do? Of course I do. Good, then use that. Love is a lot stronger than a potion. Use this. You enchanted it years ago, didn't you? Yeah, but... The more you use it, the more power it will have. Love. Love. And it worked. For a while, everyone was happy. But Hyatt was constantly draining Aspen's energy. So much so that within six years, Aspen was dead. Not before, however, she had married Anderson and had their two children. A boy and a girl who were born with powers, just like her. I don't get it, though. Now there are two kingdoms that... But back then, there was only the one. That happened between Hyatt's children and Aspen's children. Aspen's kids split off into another realm. Created a better kingdom for themselves and their children. That was a really interesting story, Mom, but what does it have to do with Alita? Well... A while ago, while I was, while I was searching through her things, I found this. This was Aspen's. I don't know how much good it will do Alita. She really is the only one who will be able to regain control of her own body. However, this might be able to help her ward off any invaders. We'll try anything. Good. Now you guys better get back. And don't forget, keep this place a secret. It was Aspen's special place. Of course, Mom. We will. <laughs>